Good evening, I am Chin Yang on SP News tonight. An ongoing email has been circulating around and the attention has alarmed many concerned citizens. The message claimed that drinking cold water after a meal will solidify oily stuff present in the food and will lead to cancer. In the email, the cardiologist claims if everyone who gets this email sends it Ayo, you see, you see, I always tell you don't drink cold water when eating, right? Don't listen to someone like your father. Okay la, okay la. Dinner stuff here half an hour already. First go in now. Okay. Yay, very good! Warm water and room temperature water. Yeah, then. You see, you see, this is what's happening to your body. Wow, that's disgusting. Some more every time this green solidify and clog in our veins, which can cause cancer. Ha, really, man? I don't believe it. Let me go do my own research, lah. Okay, so let's go find out what others think. Do you think it's a fact or a myth? Yes, I think it's a fact. Yeah, I think it's true. Uh, my parents have done that since young. Uh, Why don't you check online instead? You know yesterday, my mommy tell me that if you drink cold water after a meal yeah, And yesterday, I actually interviewed a few people and I don't know if it's true or not because I have I got a lot of mixed reactions Can you elaborate on it because I'm very confused Oh, I see Let me explain it to you So, let us see how oils which are fats in food are being digested When the oil in the food enters our digestive system, fat digestion starts partially in the stomach In the stomach, peristalsis takes place there are three muscle groups in the stomach, namely the circular, longitudinal, and diagonal muscles. The muscles alternately contract and relax to churn and mix the food with lipases in the gastric juices and enzymes in the stomach to start the digestion of triglycerides in the oil of the food. As the stomach is extremely acidic at a pH of 1.5 to 3.5, the gastric juices in the stomach can even dissolve metals and break down the stomach walls if not for the thick mucus lining in the stomach which coats and provide protection for the stomach against the gastric Therefore, juices. It is certain that the stomach acid, specifically hydrochloric acid, and an extremely low pH can dissolve any solidified oily food molecules that supposedly may form when cold water reacts with the oily food, though this is highly unlikely to occur. Hence, all the food molecules in the stomach will ultimately be broken up into a semi-liquid mass when the pyloric sphincter opens to allow chyme to pass from the stomach into the small intestine, the cells in the intestinal wall will release a hormone known as CCK. CCK travels by blood to the gallbladder and stimulates it to contract and release bowel into the small intestine via the bowel duct. This allows the fat molecules in chyme emulsify and therefore allow the oil to form a homogeneous liquid with the rest of the watery liquid. Then, the pancreatic and intestinal lipases in the small intestine break down the triglycerides in the oil into individual fatty acids and monoglycerides, which will be absorbed through the wall of intestine and carried into the body through the lymphatic system by chiromicrons. Solidification or clumping of fats does not take place in the digestive tract. The only way fat in the body solidifies is when one constantly consumes food that is high in saturated fat. The increased saturated fat level will raise the low-density lipoprotein LDL level in the blood and contribute to fatty buildup in the arteries, which gradually increase the risk of heart disease. Hence, from this, there is no link between fat solidification in the digestive tract due to cold water that leads to diseases. Furthermore, the natural heat of the mouth would have slightly warmed up the cold water. As the water is swallowed into the esophagus and into the stomach, the temperature of the stomach would have brought the cold water to around 37 degrees after a few seconds. According to BBC Science & Nature, the stomach's natural heat will bring all contents to a uniform temperature soon after eating. Even ice cold water will not stay cold long enough inside the stomach to actually solidify the oily stuff. Therefore, drinking cold water would certainly not fundamentally disrupt digestion in the way nor would it lead to cancer and heart disease. In fact, drinking cold or warm water in general is beneficial for digestion. And that being said, drinking cold water after a meal does not disrupt the digestion process and it indeed does not cause cancer or heart attacks. Therefore, it is a myth. Oh, my God, today, my lecturer said that what they say on the news is not true. Eh? Yala, yala. You can be sure that you'll save at least one night. However, the National Cancer Institute mentions that there is no connection between the two. Therefore, this is a myth and one should not be alarmed. <laughs> Oh,